Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Sanfix Poco X3 Custom ROM Reviews and this is Android 13 based Pixel 5 Ported ROM for Poco X3 or NFC Surya Karna whatever you call this is with 5th April 2022 security patch. The version is Android 13 here and the kernel used here is 4.14.198. You can read here. These are the kernel used here and this is a ported build from Pixel 5 and here I am running the CPU throttling test from the last 10 minutes and 1 second. So you can see here the maximum is 147 and average is 146 and minimum is 137 million GIPS and there is no CPU throttling has been detected in this particular ROM that's really good and one of the highest Android benchmark results have been recorded here. Let me show you that first. You can see here 3,73,900 48 one of the best score available for poco x3 or nfc in my channel this is the highest 3,73,940 and temperature raise was just 1.3 degree celsius and battery drop was three percentage during this testing the performance is very good in this rom balanced and there is a little bit of battery draining you can notice but it's fine with pixel experience kind of these kind of roms it's quite obvious but still you are getting very good performance that's really good here and not just that even the geekbench scores could have been better but it's fine just it's in 506 single score and multi score is 1616 and the kernel used here is 4.14.18 kernel has been used you can see here model it's recognized as google pixel 5 that's why it is it's ported from the same rom and this is the dialer you get here nothing change in the dialer you can see here you will get no video call direct video call feature is not available in this rom as of now and even the call recording feature is also not available in this rom those things you need to keep in mind and coming to home screen this is how the home screen you get and if you press here you can see here you can swipe between wallpapers and wallpapers and style given widgets you get android 12 only this is a beta 1 port rom still lot more beta coming and the developer preview those are also coming very soon and we'll be getting those port roms for poco xa hope so and these are the widgets you get and home settings you get pixel launcher as a pre-installed launcher that's quite obvious here and that's how it is and uh, into the quick settings panel here you will see the changes in terms of design you can see here down the edit option moved into right section now it was on the left section and even the power button is moved in the bottom right corner you can use this to boot i mean boot and reboot and you can use lockdown and emergency option that's moved here and even the settings panel you can see here now it's moved here right hand corner beside the power button that's how it is and you can see the settings panel there are little bit of changes compared to android 12 l or 12.1 that i will be explaining very soon and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like and uh, that's how it is and google photos unlimited storage is available in this room no need to worry regarding that and drm info let's check it Yes, level 1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution that's not the problem in this ROM and let's see the safety status will it get passed it get failed you need to pass this CTS profile match you need to fix this using the file but you can root this also using magic map but I don't know which version of magics can be flashed to this particular Android 13 based ROM I, this is a very initial build even for many other devices also not released this is only for poco x3 exclusively that you need to keep in mind and regarding payment applications you need to pass that safety net status then only you can use those and use it as a validator if you want to test the rom you can test it out it's smooth enough you can see here there's a 100 mode that's how it is i'll disable this and into settings let me go these are the changes you see here and into settings everything is same here in the battery you get everything is same battery saver extreme battery saver those things are fine battery usage hasn't recorded 
that's how it is and into sound and vibration you get all the basic things nothing added here also and vibration haptics you can see here individually you can customize their strength of haptic i mean the vibration you can make it out from here and into wallpapers and style it's still in beta these theme icons and dark themes and wallpapers colors now has been increased lot more you can see here and basic colors are also lot more increased here dual tone colors are also increased that's how the changes and change wallpapers you have plenty of standard troll type wallpapers still standard 13 is going and uh, app grid you can choose from here that's how it is and uh, let's see the settings here accessibility here you get plenty of new things compared to Android 12 L and 12.1 magnification it's there before also but there are some interesting features added you can see on the screen here if you are using this you will be getting a little bit enhanced here and color and motion also plenty of option color correction is there RGB adjustment you can make here grayscale blue yellow red green and red green red weak Protanomaly or deuteronomaly you can adjust from here and color correction shortcut you can enable from here there are lot more shortcuts has been added in the android 13 build you start seeing from here this is the one thing and on dark theme you can see here it's not the pitch black condition but it's fine enough i hope in android 10 uh, sorry android 13 final build has proper dark theme i hope so let's see and large mouse cursor you can increase from here remove animations for smooth i mean movement on the screen you can reduce the movement on the screen those things are added here and select to speak option is there there is a settings underneath that read in background text and images those are also available right now and into accessibility menu again you get this kind of shortcut here and there is a setting also you can increase the button size also as you can see you can increase this you can easily identify it if you want a large size buttons that's how it is it's a handy feature to have in this kind of ROMs not just that even here you can see here switch access here also plenty of options are given USB switch Bluetooth switch those kind of things and switch access shortcut here also you can enable this as you can see Bluetooth switch camera switch this is a handy feature let me stop this and even the shortcut everywhere they added the shortcuts here in order to directly use them or utilize them and vibration and haptics as i said before it's also available here timing controls are given system controls are also given auto rotate screen you can turn off turn on from here power button end scroll you can turn on turn off here system navigation gesture navigation left edge and right edge you can increase or decrease the sensitivity here and swipe to invoke the assistant also you can enable or disable from here into system controls as i said before it's how it is and live caption also here given live transcribe it's also enhanced a little bit and audio description if you enable this select audio soundtrack with audio description by default and sound amplifier is given sound notification here also you can enable the shortcut if you use this it will be directly go into this sound notification if you turn on you will be notified this kind of different devices sound from your device and that audio adjustment is given you can adjust them accessibility shortcuts and text to speak so this is all the new things i have noticed in this android 13 beta 1 pixel 5 ported rom for poco x3 and regarding digital well-being i don't think so anyone uses here bedtime focus more dashboard those are still available you can show icon in the app list if you want app then you can add that on user set if you use it comment down in the comment section below let me know that and location it's also same here nothing new those are the few changes you can see here and the home screen also i don't see any changes even in the launcher this is the one change quick settings panel little bit tweaking has been done in the power and settings model they kept in the bottom of their smartphone one-handed mode you can see here this are the one-handed mode if you use one-handed mode the power button those options eliminated here that they need to fix and the bug in this particular rom is after porting you won't be able to set the pixel imprint let me show you if i go here and press agree as you can see it's booted out of that settings this is simple bugs i have noticed as of now and even the one-handed mode you won't get the power button or settings button to go there that's the thing 
maybe it's ported issue or even the android 13 has the same thing i don't know that's all the bugs you can face under safety net status these are the things you need to keep in mind while flashing this particular rom on your poco x and i have used this i have now built a gcam it's working fine you can see here everything is working fine even in the video also you can use the ultra wide angle and the 1x zoom and 2x also working fine this is an arno build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports for this particular rom all are working fine and forget about the nx camera this is an android 13 we still don't have in android 12 only you can't expect in android 13 based roms that's how it is and let's see the bgma how it handles actually the benchmark results were very good and the cpu throttling is also not at all happened here let's see how it handles the bgma Thank you.